there was a, a need for going through the steps of actually getting to these three-year-olds and riding them. So our ridden horses are obviously good examples, but the steps needed to get going with these three-year-olds. What do we do from the field or from a two-year-old to get them ready for the riding? So Willie has generously offered to take us through the steps. Um, so Willie, you just want to go ahead and introduce this horse and, and just talk through your, your steps here, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Good morning. Uh, the horse I have here is a uh, three-year-old, Contango Ferro. Uh, is bred by uh, Sandy Harper. I think you, most of you know her probably. So, and uh, she's a three-year-old. She's been, uh, she is under saddle, but she has not uh, competed or been off the, the property. So, what I uh, like to show today and tomorrow is today just the first steps what we do when we have a two-year-old that comes out of the pasture. Yeah, they obviously been halter broke. Yeah, and uh, that's how we pick it up from there. Yeah, so the horse has not been introduced to a bridle yet. Yeah, and this is the, the way we uh, start. So I like to uh, uh, start today with teaching him to lunge and putting how we start with uh, putting the the gurt on the sur single. Okay, and I'd like to start off with that uh, lunging yeah, is like riding. Yeah, lunging is not letting the horse run around, get him tired, get the energy gone. Yeah, but lunging is like riding. And, uh, and also, what's very important, when you have a young horse, allowing it to happen is teaching. Yeah, a lot of times you hear, oh, my horse did this, and I never taught him that, and I never wanted him to do that, but, he does it all, and the main reason for that is that you allowed it to happen, and that's when the horse learns. Yeah, and it's actually the same as with riding. Yeah, and uh, it's also with young horses. It's not like a steady pattern that you say, "Oh, all my horses have to do this." Yeah, you have to kind of look at your horse. You have more sensitive horses. You have horses that have been raised in an environment where they've been handled a lot as a young horse, so they have a lot more manners, they have maybe no more. Sometimes they've been handled a lot, and it's not to your advantage because they have learned already bad habits. Yeah, so <clears throat> you have to evaluate what kind of horse do I have, you have to evaluate what is the condition of the horse, is the horse in good shape, bad shape, is the horse already mature for his age or her age, or is the horse very immature, that's where you have to uh, kind of depend the workload on it. Then it's uh, uh, very important uh, yeah, that you just go slow. It's better to take a little bit more time than that you try to hurry. Again, if you make a mistake, it takes a lot longer to correct it if the horse loses confidence than that you go a little bit slower and take your time to to that uh, to do it correctly yeah so i will <coughs> try to start out this today might be a little bit fresh so we'll see how it goes but i think the initial step is right away important yeah how to how to get started yeah and uh, when you have a horse like this now he's a little bit over face but i usually do is when i go forward i stay stay next to him, yeah, and then I put a little bit of pressure on the chain and I use my voice so that he right away knows when I put a little bit of pressure on the nose, use my voice, and the horse goes forward and he follows my hand. Yeah. <coughs> so the chain is not used to jerk on, yeah, no jerking at all. You only want to develop more trust. Yeah. So, and, then you, uh, and then you teach your horse to learn already to stop a little bit on voice command. Oh. Yeah, and when a horse doesn't want to stop, yeah, instead of pulling him to you and that the horse turns around like this, yeah, I think you always have to hold your hand here or the whip and you just touch him on his chest so that the horse always stays next to you. Yeah, you should never let the horse turn into you. Yeah, so when you want to make him halt, you just say, oh, stop. Oh. Like that. So, and then the horse learns to stop when you stop, yeah, instead of that the horse turns around and runs into you, yeah. Wind up. And I'm important is, yeah, instead of, yeah, that when you go forward, 
a lot of times you see from up and go. No, yeah, you, <coughs> I just stand. Yeah, and I tell the horse forward. Stop. So, and then I make him stop. Uh, brr. Yeah, and if he, if the horse would run too fast or he, he would start trotting, then you can st or step a little bit more in front of him and you tell him to stop. Yeah, but don't let him spin around. So now you go again. Say, attention. Oh, good. Hey. Forward. Yeah. Walk. Yeah, very important also is that you always use voice command. Yeah, but that you call the gate. Yeah, you say walk, trot, or canter. Yeah, not that you just go from forward or use the whip and that the horse just learns to go faster. They catch them really quick, really quick uh, what the voice command means. Yeah. yeah. And I try to maintain the connection with the, with the lunch line. Yeah. Especially when the horses are young and they don't know how to lunge, the farther you away from them, the harder it is to get contact with them and get influence on the horse. Yeah, you only have influence on the horse when the horse knows the command and when the horse stretches and follows the lunge line. Yeah, but if the horse is farther away from you and the lunge line is hanging loose, yeah, you can only you can only chase them, yeah? So.